Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial or welcome back to the update on my hair. So we got about 2nd of March, I'm going for a haircut and all this coming off. Uh, <laughs> crazy, it's great. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you guys how to take a plugin from Snap EDA. So Snap EDA is a website where you can download footprints and schematic symbols for Eagle, LTM, KiCad and all those programs. So they already made the footprints for you, so you don't have to. So this video is not sponsored by them. I'm just showing us how to easily import their plugin into KiCad. What this means is that when you open KiCad, you'll be able to you make use of their footprints, their schematic symbols in KiCad itself. So you don't need to go to the website and download. And I think that's pretty cool because a lot of you guys are as lazy as me. And if you, if someone already made the footprint, why should you redo it? Um, but again, not all footprints will be available. So we do have a video how to make your own footprint on this channel. Uh, I'll put a link below. So what we're going to do now is take a, the plugin from the internet, how to install it into KiCad, because it's not just file install. And then I'll show you guys how to navigate it and how to get your own uh, footprints and schematics in KiCad. Um, guys, just when you import it, just double check that it's correct. Uh, so you can't, you can't, so just double check it's correct. You can't make sure Snap EDA li liable if there's some mistake and you make the PCB and it comes from Snap uh, from JL PCB or PCB way and there's a mistake in the footprint. So it's your responsibility just to double check and make sure that the footprint's according to specification. So let's get started. So what you have to do first is go to snapeda.com forward slash backslash whatever slash that is plugins and then you'll get to this website. So as you can see, they've got plugins for uh, Eagle, Altium, PCB, and KiCad. I'm not actually sure what PCB is. I should have a look at that. But the other two are quite well known. So we're going to do it for KiCad, download it. It will download in a specific folder, probably your downloads folder. Great. So once you download it, you unzip it. And you have to make sure that the Python script and the folder you copy. And this we're going to paste into the keycat directory so uh, sometimes it's x86 sometimes it's and in this case we saved it in our d drive <laughs> keycat share keycat uh, scripting plugins and you paste it over here you can see i've got my teardrops as well continue now we go back to keycat and on top here you'll see tools external plugins and we say refresh plugins tools let's see what happened and there you'll have snap eda once we click on it it will install uh, the plugin at the back in the background just wait once it's finished installing you just have to type in your username and password um, for your snap eda account so you can make that either online or just click at the bottom here register and it'll take you through the steps so let's sign in and that's it. So once you log in into the plugin, you'll get to this window. This means that you successfully logged in and the plugin is installed. So as a beginner, sometimes you just want to uh, make a PCB that an Arduino or something can snap onto. I always advise people to, that's quite a nice first project to do on a PCB design, to take existing dev board and make a PCB for the iOpens around it. So let's search for Arduino Nano. So you can just search for the parts that you want right here. And there you can see a bunch of them will pop up. So let's I'll click on this. You'll see the, you should see the schematic and the 3D model on the side here. So all, all I do now is push download. So give it some time, it does take a while. And then you can see either I'm gonna add this footprint in my global library or project specific. So global means for the whole of KiCad. So every time I create a new project, this library will be available. Project specific means just for this project that I created. So I created a project called KiCad plugin. So then this library will only be for this um, project. I normally just make it global because you never know when you're going to use it again. And now if you go to the back here, you can see we just imported a footprint. So this Footprint will allow your Arduino Nano just to plug in and play around with. But that's not all. So we've got the footprint now, but what about the schematic? So as you can see, we went here, tools, external plugins, snap EDA. 
but your schematic does not have that. So what you have to do is you actually have to import the library by going preferences, manage symbol libraries, and then global libraries, and then add the library where it is saved. So in our case, it's saved under Gary's name, Snap EDA, Kike library, and then you import the library. This path you can change. So once we get to this, press the setting buttons here and you can choose your own path where you want to save the libraries when you download it. So there you can also auto place, place footprint. So first thing you have to do is download it and then you can place the footprint and then go back to the schematic and just make sure you add your symbol library over here. Uh, this is very important. Otherwise it won't appear. So when I push A now, and I, let's say snap EDA, there's my Arduino Nano. So that's it. So we installed the plugin snap EDA, placed the Arduino Nano as an example, went to our schematic to make sure we import the library with managed symbol libraries, and then we can place the schematic, and then we just link it with the same designators and all will be good. So we've got tools, update now, reassociate, and then you'll see, you'll have your net names and three and 29 supposedly connected. So this is what I meant about just double checking guys. So uh, ground, it seems they've got two, yeah, they got four and 29. So that might actually be ground. Uh, you just have to double check, but this is not a good way to do a symbol. And then reset also to um, pin 3 and 28. So just on the Adreno Nano, just make sure that pin 23 and pin 28 can be shorted. So if something does go wrong, you can always just edit it by, by clicking this symbol editor and then just look for your one and then you should be able to fix it up here. Thanks for watching guys. Um, so in this video we looked at how we can take Snap Ideas Library, import into KiCad, there's also the same way you'll do any other plugin. Um, so that, like my teardrop plugin, things like that. So that folder there is where you'll put most of your plugins. Uh, just I'll make another video about that, just go into more details. But it's basically just like that. Copy paste and then refresh plugins and you have it. Uh, really appreciate you guys waiting so long and following this tutorial. Hope you guys are learning. And if there's anything you guys want extra, uh, any other tutorials, please let me know. So I do have a list of um, questions that uh, people ask me and I'm going through it one by one. So please let me know if there's something specific you want to learn about KiCad or Altium and I'll always be willing to help. Yes, and that's it. So please feel free. Please feel free to join me on Sunday when I do my live streams on PCB design. Uh, you guys can always just ask questions there and I will walk through it as well. I don't mind answering the same questions over and over because you all come at different stages at different levels. Um, but that's enough for me just mumbling again. Guys, have a fantastic day, a fantastic night. Uh, until next time, bye.